Rule number seven, which leads right into this, which is train daily. In our office, we train twice a day with our sales team, 8.30 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. in the afternoon. We go for 15, 20 minutes in the morning, 15, 20, sometimes 30, each way. We're listening to sales training videos. We're breaking down what we learned. We're role playing something specific. When we role play, we're role playing a specific part of a call or a specific part of a cell. And we're role playing the same thing the whole week, by the way. We're not changing it up every 14 minutes and trying something new and, and changing like, you know, we are getting really good at this this week. What's the close? How do we ask for the business? What card would you like to put that on? What card would you like to put that on? What card would you like to put that on? Not, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> if that's in your vocab, please remove it forever. <laughs> because people will give you a lot of reasons why they're not gonna buy and they will make up stuff, they will lie to you and they will tell you they need to think about it when they don't, okay? That I know for a fact. We practice and role play a specific piece the entire week. You say, I mean, and, and you guys can make excuses. I mean, you can make excuses for anything, right? Like, oh, I, I don't have someone to, I don't have anybody, I don't have anybody, I'm alone. I role played in the mirror. I would record my in-home appointments just for me and I would listen to them on the way back to the office. I would listen to The Art of Closing the Cell by Brian Tracy in my car on repeat for years. Until I had to re-download it because the, the CDs were so messed up. Why? Because me getting really good is a choice. I choose whether I get great or not. It ain't up to anybody else. Most people fell in the industry and they're like, hey, it was my trainer's fault. My manager didn't help me. He didn't download his brain into me. He didn't make the calls for me. I didn't get to do all these role plays and I didn't get to go do all these ride alongs and everything else, right? Doesn't mean we can't get great. But to get great, you have to train every single day. It's not a choice. It's not an option. It's not a nice to do. It's a must do. And you have to train every day single day whether you feel like it or not whether you want to role play with your mirror you know because it's weird and cheesy and awkward but dude if you can't do if you can't get great talking to you you'll never get great talking to anybody else trust me and if you don't think you're good guess what they think <laughs> you want to think you're phenomenal not to the point where you stop training though because you can always get better who believes that who knows that to be true Who's going to make it happen in 2021? And who's committing right now to, dude, I am going all in. I got the guts, I'm committing, and I want to win. You're like, I want to go there. Miss Grace is like, I want to go there. I'm ready. <laughs> and she already tore it up her first AEP. So imagine where she's going to get. You want to go there. You want to get really good. I truly believe at this point, not from an arrogant standpoint, you can put me in any cell situation in the world, whether we're selling RVs, I don't, a mosquito spray, I don't care what we're selling. <laughs> and I don't actually need to know as much about the product as I think, and I'll close the deal. Sales is sales. Closing is closing. Fact finding is fact finding. Building rapport is building rapport. Building value, creating engagement. Like, why do you guys think I'm tapping the marker on, on, on the board for 36 seconds? <laughs> 814 times. Because I got to keep your attention. Who's going to train every day? Rule number eight, invest in yourself. It's not an option. It's not I may do it. It's I have to do it. Who has the courage to say, you know what? I did not invest in myself as much as I should have in 2020. Guess what? That's about to change. And I'm about to help you change it. Because life got really good for me. Not when I started spending more money on leads. Not when I started spending more money on um, a car. Not when I started spending more money on a home. Not when I started spending more money on my wife, as much as she believes that to be true, okay? <laughs> Not when I started doing all these other things. Life got really good when I started investing in me. 
Life got really good when I started investing in my personal development, my self-improvement. And I'm about to give a few people the option to spend more time with me. Who doesn't believe, but who knows that I can help you? Who knows that when I help you, your money and your income and your revenue goes up? Am I right, Joe and David? Come on now. True or true? And who's also sitting here thinking, dude, when I get the opportunity, if you give me an opportunity, I'm actually going to go all in. I'm not just going to say it. I'm not just going to raise my hand and stand up and say, I'm going to commit, but I'm actually going to really commit in 2021 and go all in and say, I am going to invest in myself like I've never invested before. Because it's not an option. It is, I've got to be really good. The car I drive doesn't, it doesn't matter from an income standpoint. It really doesn't, right? The house I live in, how much money I spend on my kids I don't have yet, right? Whatever. For me to get great, for, for it to get to where it is impossible for me to quit, I've got to spend it on me up here, in here, all year long. I now, and, and, and you should be spending over 10% of your personal income on just making you better because you want your income to go up. Watch this. You want your income to go up. Try spending money on you because guess what? If you're making 60K, 30K, 400K, you're going to hit a lid. You're going to hit a capacity. We're going to the 1% Mastermind next week in Arizona, and Derek bought his own plane ticket. I'm not paying for it for you. You're investing in yourself because it's going to pay off. I spoke at Nate Offert's SWAT event in Dallas. Three of my salespeople paid for their own ticket. Nate would have probably gave them one. I said don't. Because you have to pay to pay attention. You want your income to go up? Raise the lid. You want your income to go up? Spend more money on you. you want to help a lot more people? Make you a lot better. Make you a lot better. Here's what I'm going to do. Who likes money? Who likes money? Oh, all right. There we go. First two. There you go. There you go. Just two. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. There you go. This dude's quick, man. He, Miss Grace was ready this time. It pays to sit in the... Hey, does it pay to sit in the front row or does it pay to sit in the front row? Okay. I like the, I like the aggression and the effort though. Thank you. Okay. Give you guys a hand. That's awesome. That's awesome. I want you to go get it in 2021. I want you to go get it in 2021. I'm about to ask a question. Who would like to spend more time with me? Honestly, if you don't, that's great. Not great for you, but I don't care. Who knows that if you spend more time with me, you're gonna get a return on your investment of us both spending time together? Yes. <laughs> The answer is yes. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. Rule number one of my eight rules to 8% as I came up with whole new content for this tour is focus on revenue. Most insurance agents wake up, we get in the office, it's 9 a.m., I'm gonna get some coffee, I'm gonna go talk to Susie by the printer, I'm gonna go hang out with Joe.